everybody, it's Robbie Os Hey everybody, it's Robbie 0626 195 here from more Earthbound. I almost forgot to put the microphone down next to my face. It was all up next to my headphones. In the last part, we came here to Saturn Valley through Grapefruit Falls after having a horrible time trying to get here, having died. And in this part, we are going to go up to the waterfall in Grapefruit Falls and um, see what's up with all these uh, Saturns and uh, why they're all um, being lost. Oh, here's that enemy that I was looking for last time. This is a Violent Roach. Has 209 HP, weak to fire, freeze, paralysis, and brain shock. Can bash, vent a terrible odor, which lowers offense and defense. Uh, leap forward and spread rings, which solidifies, and knit his brow. So, let's go ahead and attack this guy and see what he is made of. Let's go ahead and use our freeze, and let's go ahead and shoot. You see, he just knits his brow. This guy isn't too terrible, especially because I just took him out with the ta one attack and one freeze there. And Jeff is now level 20! Sweets! And he got lots of stuff there. That was a pretty good pout level up for him. Let's go ahead and continue on through. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. What was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Um, coming up here in this, uh, very shortly, we will be, uh, having a part where you have to stand still for the whole three minutes. Oh, here's that crocodile that I was talking about before. Now, now I've got myself into a corner. Don't know if I can get myself out. Let's see if I can attack this zombie. Nope, the crocodile found his way over here. Alrighty. This, pl this is a plain crocodile. Plain crocodile has 234 HP, weak to freeze. He can bash, bite, uh, use, his, use a tail attack, or edge closer. So, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, use free, I'm gonna bash the farm zombie, I'm gonna use, um, actually, no, I'm gonna put all my efforts into taking out the crocodile, because the crocodile, I believe, is more of a threat than the zombie. So, let's go ahead and kill. The point, yeah, good, the point crocodile doesn't take too much to take down, it's, oh no, Paul has a cold now, and now she's sneezing. She's all snotty and, ew. Snotty girls. Luckily, we've got stuff good enough to heal that off. I'm just making, going through my inventory, seeing what we're like. Uh, okay, we're good. PSI, healing alpha, Paula. Get rid of cold. Nice. There we go. Here's the. Da -da 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 Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a footer of genius if it is myself. Okay, get ready for its memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. <gasps> wow, what a great photo. I've always been the fondest of memories. Alrighty, I just had a delivery from the office supplies. Uh, let's go behind this waterfall. And let's speak. Wait, no, wait, where is it? Say the password. Alrighty, so, if we did that right, we shall be sitting here for three minutes not doing anything. Except watching this very hypnotic waterfall. <laughs> I swear, if you sit there and just stare at it and how it's falling at different ways just because of that run, those rocks up there, that could get you kind of sleepy. So, let's see here. I'm going to be going off to college here um, in... July and August. Uh, you know, let's see, you guys know I live in Missouri, and there's a, I'm going into a computer engineering as my uh, degree field, and there's a, um, a school down uh, south, southwest of St. Louis, which is where I live, called, uh, it's in the city called Rolla, down I-44, between, halfway between St. Louis and Joplin. Uh, and it's called, um, well, I call it University of Missouri Rolla, because that's its old name, but its official name is, uh, the Missouri University of Science and Technology, and computers are both 
part of science and technology. So, and their engineering is one of their big kind of feats for them. And so, in the middle of July, I'm going to be going and going to a three-week program for hit the ground running, so I can get myself prepared for college. But if if any of you are going to be going off to college, and you have to, um, like, you contemplated going to a um, uh, a like kind of session beforehand, I recommend highly recommend it because transition from high school to college is quite a big one. So once you get there, you don't get caught off guard. So if you take a practice session, so you're it kind of ramps you up from the high school to the college level, so you're all prepared and ready. And the cool thing about um, when I'm when we ever start the uh, first semester in August, I actually know who I'm going to be rooming with because uh, uh, there's a bunch, uh, quite a few kids from my high school that are going off to this. Um, are going off to this uh, high school. I mean, to this college. Because it's uh, such a uh, big college in uh, Saint, I mean, um, in Missouri, and in-state tuition is always a good bonus. Cause paying up for out-of-state tuition is a horrible thing to have to do. We should be getting close to the uh, three minutes that we've had to wait here, hopefully. And um, let's see. Yeah, so is so I'll be rooming him, and we all know where we're staying. The other guys are going to be staying in another dorm room. Uh, different from ours, but we decided to go off and be different and stay in this other dorm room that's actually cheaper than the other one that those other guys are trying to go into. So, um, okay, you may enter. Nice. <laughs> yeah, they seriously make you sit there for the three minutes. Alrighty, this is Master Belch's factory. Let's see what the sign. Safety, fi safety first. Don't get injured. Burp. Now that burp there is actually saying like it's not like a uh, like a burp. Actually, it's burp is a command. It's not actually a sound effect. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, okay. Now we shall continue on. There's this. Did you bring some fly, honey? It's Master Belt's favorite. Yeah, sure did. Okay, you may pass through. Hey, be careful. Be sure you don't drop it. Don't worry, sir. I won't. This guy's following us now. Hey, look who it is. It's a... Foppy! Not to be confused with Foppies. Foppies are later in the game. Foppies, they are... Uh, they are the kind of grinding enemies of this area. They have 120 HP, uh, weak to fire, freeze, paralysis, and brain shock. You can, they can bash, be absent-minded, brain shock alpha, which makes us feel strange, and PSI magnet alpha, which takes away a bit of our PP. But just like the attack slugs, these guys have a bit of a problem concentrating at the beginning. So they're not too difficult to take out. Especially when it's just one of them. Jeez. And they give off quite good amounts of experience as well. Let's check out what's inside here! Enemies! 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 I'd better attack all these fobbies. Probably gonna have to go in there and see what's in there. If it's just a room with enemies and nothing else, that'd be kind of... make me angry. Bobby A was defeated. Bobby C was defeated. And it's attacking 12 HP of damage. See, they're not too terribly bad. You just want to hope that you uh, don't get into a battle with a lot of them, and then they get a chance to concentrate, and then they're just like, oh crap, gotta, gotta run. Let's see, I believe this is the actual way we want to go, so I am going to go in this room with all those enemies and see what's up. Okay, there's only three of them, so that shouldn't be too bad. And these guys are weak to fire, so let's just go ahead and bash and use a regular fire alpha and then just shoot. Fireballs, yum! <laughs> Farm zombie A is dead. Oh, I missed. Crap. Oh, and he missed too. Yay, they all missed. And now nope. Paul is missing too. That's not good. <laughs> the zombie's like, hey, what are you doing missing me? Let's just go ahead and hit you. <laughs> And we got 708 EX experience at level 25 and got some vitality and st Oh, there's a trash can in here. Another trash can. Let's see here. There's a bomb inside the trash can. More terrorists. Yeah, let's head on out. One fobby. Two fobbies. Three fobbies. So 
Attack the Foppies! They're not too hard. Oh, these are Foppies. My, my bad. I like the other enemies so much that I keep calling these guys by their other by the other guy's name, which isn't a good thing to do. It's Identity Crisis. And now Paul is now level 21 offensive by 1, max HP up by 2, max PP up by 2, and we got offense up alpha, and Jeff is level 21. Whoa, wow, well, Jeff is now legal. He can now drink. Alrighty, let's head down this ladder like we were going to do earlier before we went into that present and got the bomb. Look, more fobbies! Look how many of them there are! <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, and F. Nice, it's a whole row of fobbies! Yay! Spr oh, whoa! Ness, got some issues there with that fobby. Fobby missed, didn't work very well. Didn't work very well, and being absent minded. So I'm gonna have to do something here. We use that to attack there. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, Ness, you'll bash that one. Paula. What the? Oh, whoops, I, I accidentally lined up up wrong there. <laughs> I got confused about who I was attacking. Alright, these guys are trying to uh, attack us all, but it's not gonna work, so. You attack, you attack that end one, and you just attack that one. Fobby F was defeated. Jeez, Ness, you just hate these Fobbies for some reason. Why? Ness, stop, stop taking. N no, Paula, jeez, what are you guys doing? These the poor defenseless Fobbies. Gosh. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, we have some, um, Mr. Saturns over there that are being held hostage. And down here we have a door that I'm gonna go ahead and enter and see what's inside. More enemies! Alrighty, let's fight them. Four of them? Jeez. Yeah, I figured they were gonna all be on different rows like that. Gosh darn it. Ness, you bash the one, that only guy. You use fire on the ones at the back. And then you can follow up on one of the ones at the back with that guy. Burn! Kill that farm zombie. I'm gonna cut this, actually. Alrighty, fire... Farm zombies are defeated! <laughs> I don't know why I decided to say fire like that. Let's see what we got in there, these trash cans. And, ooh, an IQ capsule in here. You know who needs to use that? Let's use that on Jeff! IQ capsule and Jeff drank it. His IQ went up by one. Yeah! What do we got here? Broken laser. Paula takes it. Uh, I'm going to want to give that to Jeff, but he has no inventory room. So, why didn't I sell this cheap bracelet? Hmm. Oh well. Let's go ahead and give this... Uh, what can I give to her? Uh, I'll just go ahead and give this cheap bracelet to her. You can take that. And I will... Give the broken laser to... Jeff! So he can repair that in his sleep, hopefully someday. Hopefully someday, yeah. Uh, so many foppies. Foppy, foppy, foppy. Okay. Let's kill Foppy. Foppy is defeated. Whoa, really, Ness? You didn't take him out? What are you doing? Okay, we'll pick up the trash. There we go. Now they're all defeated. Hooray! And now Jeff is level 22! Sweet! We're just going up in levels all the time. What do you got to say? Er, it's hard to make ghost sounds that Master Belch does. I know I can't do it. You know what? Ah, uh, don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Mr. Saturn over there. Ah, so honest smile, boing. What this guy is actually trying to say, he's like, uh, oh, geez, this really smiley is he's being held hostage and he doesn't know what to say, so he's all confused. Now, let's see what this guy here has to say. Tired, but so good, ding. Master Belch is the slimiest. No, I see her, her serving some guy gas guy. You know, in the Japanese version, 
uh, nobody knows Guy Gas's full name. They use like the he like they just like know the first syllable and they forget what it is. Like he says G I and then uh, whatever. That I cannot believe. Alrighty. So let's continue on here. And we've got one of these guys that we're have to fight. This is a slimy little pile. Look at his face. He's so funny. <laughs> Uh, there, he has 224 HP, weak to paralysis, fire and freeze, can bash, uh, blast a s blast of sneaky breath, which makes us cry, spit out sticky mucus, which solidifies, and call for help. This is like the pile of barf that we fought earlier, just a, um, a less HP'd version, but he has, like, the, all the, uh, same attacks, pretty much. And they can they call for help. I don't think I mentioned that, did I? No, I didn't. Because it was on the other line, and I somehow refused to see that other line. And Paul, level 22! Sweet! Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, go up this... Maybe not go up that ladder. There are a lot of guys up there. I might want to heal first. Life up. Jeff. Alrighty, now we can go up. There are a lot of flies up there. I don't think I want to go up there. And anyway, I think this here is the magic butterfly room. It is! I was right! I love remembering things. So I'm going to use this chance to uh, heal ourselves up. Because, let's see, he could use some, she could use some, and I just healed up the chef. And... Okay, so let's go ahead and use some life up on Ness. And life up on Paula. And if we leave and come back, the butterfly should be there again. Of course it'd make a liar out of me. Thanks, game. You're a real great help. Thank you. It's always whenever it's like, see, look, it'll be there. It's never there. Of course. When is ever when does anything in a game ever cooperate with you, huh? Like never? Alright, there are a lot of enemies up here. Let's just go ahead and fight. These are mostly bad flies. They have 141 HP. They are weak to fire, freeze, and paralysis. They can bash say so and say something nasty, which will lower our guts. So these guys aren't too bad. Let's just go ahead and use a bit of fire on them to take them out. See, they just do a little bit of attacks that don't do us too bad. Yeah, Paula's, Paula's guts went down. No! I like Paula being gutsy. Alright, Fly A is dead, Fly B is dead, and now Fly C will be dead here momentarily. Now he's dead! Or he's tame. Nothing ever dies in a Nintendo game, except for that one Q-bone. Yes, is level 26! Oh, baby! Offense by 3, max HP up by 1. Oh, baby! So you're the ones who destroyed the zombies that I assigned to three. Oh no, I shouldn't have talked to this guy. Arrgh! But these guys aren't too bad. Let's just bash him. <laughs> Jeff has one, two, three HP. That's funny. Oh no, not another one. Paula, time to use your fire. Fireballs, yo! Fire! Oh no, now we're all crying. Paula, fire! Now everyone's gonna miss. Oh, Ness didn't miss. Paula missed, though. And now it, he's trying to do it again, but it's not... Narrowly missed hitting the target, of course. But yeah, keep trying to... Keep trying to do that, because it's gonna... It's gonna... It's working perfectly. Uh, it's not working. Come on, we need one attack to hit. Or two attacks. There, yes! I won! Okay, does crying go away after battles? It does good. I was gonna say, if we're just walking down Guy Gas's halls and be like, Ooh, we're so sad! Ooh, I got a back attack somehow. That's always a good thing. Okay, you bash, you use fire on the flies, and you bash. Or shoot. Uh, Jeff doesn't bash, he shoots. What am I saying? <laughs> I think I've got been getting that wrong this whole time. Oh no, Ness can't move! Ah! They're kicking him while he's down. 
Holy crap, this guy has a lot of HP. Okay, Ness can move now. And Paul is in the process of dying. And now Jeff can't move. Oh no, Ness's guts went down. The slimy little pile is dead, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and use life up on Paula, and let's bash the flies. Fly A is dead. Fly B is attacking. Paula is being healed. And Fly B is dead. I won! We got more experience! We are getting quite a bit of experience. What's in these garbage cans? Vital capsule inside. Paula takes this. Uh, let's see, vitality. Who, do, who should get vitality? Uh, you know what, why not? Let's just give that to Paula. Vitality, one by one. Let's see what's in here. HP sucker inside. That will be a good item for Jeff. So, I need to do something here. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and just get rid of this cheap bracelet, because it's not really of any good uh, inventory use. Cause in and selling it back won't do too too much. Let's give this hamburger to Paula. And you give the HP sucker to Jeff. Alrighty. Now let's see what's in this trash can. Calories stick inside. Yay! Those are for Paula. <laughs> Like in Chugga Connor's LP, kept on making Paula fat by eating all the calorie sticks. Foppy! Foppy. Yeah, Foppy. Peas, not peas. I always get their names confused for some reason. Yeah, see how fast that was? We just took him out with two hits. Single fights with those guys are easy. You know what? We've made it this far through the Master Belch Fortress place here. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, because we are at 22 minutes. And in the next part, we will continue through Master Belch's place and see... Uh, go ahead and face him. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful day.